From oceans to the highest mountains, from arid deserts to humid forest, they lived as sky swimmers, earth crawlers, and water floaters. And just what could we be talking about, my friends, here on another app venture? So welcome, guys. We're having another app venture, and this time it is going to be all about one of my all-time favorite animals of them all, or I should say an entire animal category, as there's a lot of them, as clearly oceans, mountains, deserts, swimming, earth crawling. Let's see. In a world that we know, they face illegal poaching, habitat destruction, pollution, and some even extinction. <gasps> oh my heart, we're diving right into the serious stuff. But in another world, they live in harmony with nature. What could they be? There is a giant tree that supports habitats for them. A kingdom full of beaks, feathers, wings, eggs, and dinosaur DNA. Now, doesn't that sound promising? I mean, if somebody came up to you and was like, hey, you want to join a kingdom full of beaks, feathers, eggs, wings, and dinosaur DNA? I have a good feeling that most of you would definitely want to go and be part of that world. So let's see. Are we going to dive in now? <gasps> Birdstopia! Welcome, guys, to Birdstopia, which I have never played, but is said to be a realm filled with birds. So let's get to it. All right. Click, click. <gasps> Look, I got little leaves. Okay, I'm already for this clicker. This is a tap game, which I don't usually play, but I do like to poke them for ideas now and then. And anything that has uh, birds showing up definitely has my attention. <gasps> there we go. Okay, and it looks like you actually get leaves when you tap, which is definitely something I'm interested in. And you could do bird watching. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, let's slow down. This is your collected resources. And then of course the different units of resource. Okay. And this is the life tree. It's our very own life tree. Let's see if we can get some nests set up in it. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the starlight moth game, which was quite fun by the way. All right, so I think I upgraded the life tree. That's what we want to do, yeah? I don't have any more taps. Okay, I'll get more taps. There we go. Oh, it wants, what? <laughs> okay. It wants me to tap it enough that we can upgrade the life tree a whole bunch. So it looks like if you upgrade the life tree, you get more leaves per taps as usual with the tappy games. And you can do rain and bird song and rainbows, all of which sound amazing. Let's go ahead and see how high we can upgrade. Almost there, a little bit more, boom. Wonderful, there we go, okay. And now we can go over to the habitat. Unlocking and upgrading habitats increases your resource per second. Don't forget to claim bonus every 25 levels. Cool, cool. Like, this is all standard. That's all awesome. I want to see my birds. So apparently there's an estuary. And for those of you who don't know, an estuary is kind of where you have, um, like, waterways meet with forest. So think, like, kind of like a mangrove, basically, but with a lot of trees that have lots and lots of root systems that com that create a complex little hideaway where you're going to end up with a lot of little teensy tiny fish and other creatures using that root system and that wa mix of water and land to kind of hide in. Really, for the most part, just think like mangrove forest, basically. Uh, but estuaries can also be smaller things. I got a golden egg! What? What do you mean I got a golden egg? We'll have to look at that in a little bit. Uh, but let's get this estuary. Oh my gosh. The life tree. <gasps> what? The life tree supports entire habitats? Ideas for zoo crafting just erupted in my head like a son of a gun. Oh my goodness. We have the estuary habitat and now we're getting into the birds. This is what I want to see. Unlocking and upgrading birds increases your resources per second, resources per tap, and resources per bird. Tap bird. Hmm. <laughs> like every way you can tap something, tap games always have it. So what do we have here? I really want to see. Mast, duck, short-tailed albatross, the azure. Oh, a kingfisher. I want a kingfisher. We have an egg. Hello. <gasps> Look at our kingfisher. They are one of my favorite birds and they are so sassy. I've only ever seen them in person a couple times. They're very shy and don't like it when people are around. But now we have an estuary bird, the azure kingfisher, and it will help us out with the resource gathering, which is wonderful. Look at it. Oh my gosh, and I can bird watch. <gasps> what happens if we do this? <gasps> this is so cool. 
cool. Wait, and then I can take a picture. Oh, that's adorable. So you can just come in and take pictures of your birds. I wonder, like, what, it, what does themes do? What? There's different... Oh, there's a bunny! He had a friend come! Oh my gosh, there's another friend! Oh my gosh, there's another one! <laughs> that is so cool! So what kingfishers do is they will actually dive into the water really quickly and have their long beaks grab a fish, kingfisher, and then they will uh, climb back out, but geez, I love kingfisher. All right, so this is very exciting. Kind of has a lot of the usual Tappy Tap stuff going on, though. I'm familiar with Tappy Tap games. Not really usually my kind of thing, but I am pretty curious about what this one may have to offer. So let's see what we can do. What if I want to habitat upgrade? So reach 100 levels for the Tree of Life, and then we can get the forest, the savanna, and the mountain. So let's see if we can try to get the forest unlocked, because if we do that, we can see what other types of birds we can potentially add in. Oh, holy moly, maybe I can see that now. Taracos, the blue-naped mouse bird, the European bee eater. I haven't even heard about the blue-naped mouse bird. This is just making the birder in me so happy right now. Oh, a yellow-headed am- Oh, a kiwi! I love kiwi! Oh my goodness, I definitely want to see the kiwi. There's turkey vultures and turkeys. That is so cool. There's some that I can't even pronounce, like purr, holy oaks. Uh, the ivory-billed woodpecker, which is actually a extinct species of woodpecker. It's not officially on the extinct list, but like nobody has seen one for a long time now. So probably the gila woodpecker, the common nighthawk. Oh my gosh, guys, nighthawks look so cool. Wood ducks, mandarin ducks, pacific loons. Be still my heart. This is like coming off of my birding list of birds I want to see in person. Oh. This will be so exciting. The Madagascar Red Owl, the Snowy Owl, the Cockapoo, <gasps> Queen Victoria Crown Pigeons. Those are one of my all-time favorite birds. I have so much vlog footage from when we went to the North Carolina Zoo and saw my favorite pair of Queen Victoria Crown Pigeons that live there. I need a savanna now because I absolutely love them. Uh, let's see. And then we've also got an ostrich. We've got hawks. Ostriches would be really cool. Jeez, I just want to like copy all the names of these guys. Shoebill! And put them into my zoo crafting world. The gray crowned crane, the whooping crane, the hyacinth macaw, which is also extinct in the wild, unfortunately. King of Saxony. I've heard that, but I don't know that bird species. The great hornbill! There's so many! Guys, this is how amazing birds are. There's just so many different types out there. They are stunning. The greater bird of paradise. The superb, they have so, <gasps> a lyre bird! Indian peafowl! Wow, they've got a lot of cool birds, guys. And they also have food. So it looks like premium seeds and fruit and meat for the different types of birds. Uh, of course, the usual packages. So on the surface of things, it looks like your usual tapper game, but uh, that's okay if you're into that. And now I just really want to work, claim the bonus. I really want to work on trying to unlock as many of the habitats in the time that we have our app adventure as possible. And then hopefully new quest, tap bird eight times. I don't know if my ivory bill or my, my kingfisher is going to appreciate that, but can I tap him? Did I tap my kingfisher? Maybe? I don't think I did. Oh, I think they have to have a little like bubble above them. All right. How high can I upgrade you? There we go. So yeah, your usual tappy top game. Oh, 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 my bird, my bird wants tapped. There, got him once, all right. Yeah, the usual tappy tap game from the looks of it. Uh, I think we can do some rain, sweet. And it will do auto tapping for us so we can look around a little bit more. And we'll see how many different birds we can actually catch. And then claim the bonus for 50. And auto tap is enabled, tree resources are going up. We're doing good, I think, guys. Doing good. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, different habitats. How cool would it be to build a tree like this in our Minecraft Zoo Crafting Realm and just have, like, habitats at each level? That would be pretty fun. Uh, but what are the events going on? <gasps> 
How cool would it be to have bird events in zoo crafting? This is why I do adventures, to give me these kinds of ideas. So if you collect different amounts of feathers, collect all limited cockatoos during the event, then you can get the limited edition cockatoos. So it looks like you have a cockatiel. The, oh, the gala cockatoo, that's a sweet one. Those are one of the nicest ones I've ever met. I really have loved the personality of all the galas I've ever known. Uh, and then the cranberry black cockatoo, the ganging cockatoo, yellow-tailed black cockatoo, red-tailed black cockatoo, the mayor Mitchell cockatoo, the Molokal cockatoo, umbrella cockatoo, very loud, uh, and the red vinted cockatoo. So some of these I've never even heard of, so they would be really cool to see. Oh, I upgraded the estuary! I didn't mean to do that! I need to upgrade my tree so I can get the forest. Alright, let's do this. Look, there's like rain coming down. This is very pretty. This is very pretty, but I know that Tap Tap Fish, aka Abyssarium, is always going to be like the go-to tapper game that most people are totally for. Uh, our patrons are actually always showing me cool pictures of their little corgis with their little, their little corgi suits swimming around with all their fish. There we go. So, so far your usual tappy game, but I want to see, can I make it? Can I get more birds? I would like to get more birds, please. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. I think we're almost at level 100. Yeah, we're getting closer. Getting closer. And then we'll check the news in just a second here too. Oh, cool. Look at the screenshot. They had a little screenshot contest. It ended by now because it was uh, over by August 1st. But that's really cool. So it had to do with the spoonbill. So you want to get the spoonbill in the picture, I think. An exclusive- no, 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 you got the exclusive Rosetta spoonbill if you managed to get a ghoul picture on the Instagram. That is so interesting. Yeah, see, this is the kind of stuff I like. Exclusive bird contest? That completely sounds like me. Alright, let's see, let's finish this up. My bird needs attention. Gotcha. Alright. I want the forest. Hopefully we're almost done upgrading to a hundred soon. See, tappy games make me tired, which is why I don't normally do them. <laughs> but I really want to see what kind of birds we can have. There's so many species that I've never even heard of before. There we go. Uh, and then, oh, and we can put on bird song, which will produce 6,000 times the resources normal. That sounds kind of amazing. Uh, and then... We need a lot to unlock the forest from the looks of it. So I want to see if we can unlock the forest. We have bird song going, which should, I think, help us out. Does it help? Yeah, it helps the automatic tap tap. All right, everything's good. How much to get to the forest? I think it'll, it'll get there sooner than later. I don't know about this, guys. <laughs> I think that it would be really, really hard to be able to get enough tippy taps <laughs> to get the forest. Okay, we're going to let that auto tap for just a minute and look over all these guys because this is a huge number of birds. I am quite impressed by them. The Rufus Hummingbird! All right, maybe we should be happy with what we can get on the estuary platform today. I think we can at least manage to get everything on the estuary platform. So let's go ahead and get a Rufus Hummingbird right now, because that sounds absolutely adorable. I really am going to use this list to come up with future exhibits for zoo crafting too, because this is just too cool. There you go, little guy. So now we have a Rufus Hummingbird, and let's get a Tropic Bird, because I, I don't even know if I've ever heard of those before. All right, Tropic Bird coming in. Oh, wow! <gasps> a Red-Billed Tropic Bird! Oh, that's beautiful! Oh my gosh! Yeah, we're going to have a good time looking at that one. Okay, and then let's go ahead back. That's how I do it. Okay. Oh, look at that! You get a little encyclopedia! That is so cool! The Azure Kingfisher, native to Australia. There are Kingfisher species all over the world, though. There's definitely some native here to Michigan and North Carolina that I have seen. They like to eat fish and other small things that they can fit into their mouth, but they are carnivores. They focus on meat eating. And then nectar is the food of choice for the Rufus Hummingbird of North America. Enjoys open woodland. Very lovely. And the red build tropic bird of North America and South America maybe 
Uh, and apparently it's an oceanic bird, which would explain why I haven't ever seen it or heard of it before, because I normally live in the middle of the United States. So that would be an interesting bird to see. Look at all this bird information. Yeah, if you're a birder, this is probably great. Ooh, look at that. And we've got little achievements we can collect over here. And you can, oh, you get guardian rewards. How cool would it be to be able to do guardian rewards for the different things? That's really fun. I like it. All right. And, you know, I don't think I'm going to, even with my best efforts, going to be able to tippy tap enough to get the birds that I want. Let's refill. Uh, no, I'm okay. Uh, there we go. And then I think, yeah, we have to wait for the cooldown to go down for the rain and the bird song. Oh, the bird song was temporary. Whoops, I should have been doing that then. But that's okay. All right, well, let's finish up by just grabbing a couple more birds really quickly. The masked duck. We can at least take care of all of the estuary. And I, I do love the idea of having a waterfall platform tree thing in zoo crafting. So that I'm very happy about. And then finally, let's go ahead and unlock the lovely short-tailed albatross, which is so cool. And then let's come in and let's do a little bit of bird watching. Usual Tappy Game. Pretty happy with the fact that it's all about birds. So if Tappy Games are your kind of chill thing, nice music, beautiful birds, and you can even come on in and you could do a little bit of bird watching. Look at the Rufus Hummingbird. Oh, look at that. Look at everybody. The albatross is huge. I love him. Oh, the albatross has a friend. <gasps> that makes me so happy. All right. Well, this is lovely, guys. Oh, look at there's the tropic bird. This is really nice. It is just relaxing to kind of feel like you've built together a beautiful little estuary and you can fill it up with all kinds of different birds and watch them come in their little flocks. I like it. So if this is your thing, I hope you enjoy. Tappy Game is not normally my thing, but this one might lure me in from time to time in order to learn about many bird species I've never even heard of before and give them a good try, especially if we can add them into our zoo crafting series, like I keep saying, so that we can learn more about them, name them, watch them grow and prosper and build exhibits dedicated to them. I think that would be a great way to interact with learning more about all of these different species. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. Not often that I do Tappy Games. We might try out another one again in the future, but I hope you will have so much fun in our next app adventure. Consider subscribing to join us for our mini adventures as there are many more coming. Let me know what your favorite bird species is. That would actually make me really happy if you guys could let me know because I love birds so much. And please leave a like in order to uh, feed the birds, I suppose, because there's a lot of them. Take two short tailed Oh! Oh! What? You even have like a little birding list? Okay, this is kind of cute now. <laughs> I like it. And then you can just like, twink, there you go. A little picture of you. That's so nice. And then I can, did I count? Yeah, okay, you can even do bird photography challenges. <laughs> I kind of think that's amazing. But all right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.